Any thoughts? I don't know, it almost feels shallow and trite to sing about anything that's like happened in real life. But also like, it's the only thing that feels genuine to think about, mm -hmm. to sing about. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, my first love is kind of a tragic story. Um, we could maybe talk about that. Um, we were both in love with each other at the same time, but I lived in Germany while he was in Kansas. And then he became a mess and basically an alcoholic and then two abusive relationships. And I got to watch it happen, but I was too far away to do anything about it. He drank Everclear, which is like an extra potent version of vodka, mm -hmm. because he's smart, very intelligent. <laughs> um, I think, so you drink the Everclear could be like a motif that shows up throughout the song. Throughout the chorus, I mean, you could, I mean, because you got such a great voice too, and if you're just singing, singing like the Everclear part, you could just, I mean, go crazy. I could be doing the same chord progression. And just, <laughs> you could even throw a humming section in there, like. I have yeah. a kazoo, I could always. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll do. So really seeing the way music influenced me to feel happier was what inspired me to keep making music. I started writing poetry because I had a teacher who really, really, really encouraged me. She was amazing. She always told me that I could do great things. She really had faith in what I could bring to the world. And so that made me feel like maybe I could branch out and do new things with the way I wrote. And then, you know, connecting writing with singing was just, was just the next logical step for me. Drinking bottles, breaking bottles, broken glass. But yeah, I guess the song is mainly just going through how much it hurt to know that he was just breaking himself apart and that other people were breaking him apart. You couldn't like do anything to help him. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was far away. And even when we started talking again, like, he was going through so much. And there was nothing I could really do. All I could do was listen. And I felt pretty helpless. It was hard going from having someone who you just cared about and who seemed to care about you unconditionally to not having him at all. I used to have dreams about like it felt like I was watching a TV screen but I was in the movie but I couldn't do anything um, and I was watching like people like hurt other people Maybe that was connected to how out of control I felt watching him get hurt. Couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, maybe that was why I was having those dreams. That's so interesting. I feel like most people have probably had the experience of, you know, being sad. And so you can just listen to sad songs and just sort of sink into it. I think that's really been a big part of why listening to music matters to me. And then creating music, it allows me to express things in a way that I can't really do just through, just through words. We're consistently chasing dopamine. Our brain will see a happy situation and try to squeeze all the dopamine it can out of that situation. But then it doesn't really differentiate all the emotions and so when I'm feeling sad, it squeezes out all the sadness as well. I don't know, it's like, you know, after you've run 
Um, for a long time and you're just completely sore and worn out but you're not in pain from the race anymore mm -hmm. it's the afterwards pain and exhaustion it feels so good to yeah. sit down it takes time to understand the grief or the happiness or whatever you're dealing with sometimes when I listen to my friend playing the piano if it's really passionate, you can just kind of melt into the music. Because I feel like a lot of those emotions are just a lot more raw and vulnerable. I feel like feeling sad to an extreme level sometimes helps you to see things about human nature that you didn't really understand before. Um, yeah, this is a hard one. Um, but I do think it's super important to express yourself in a way that's healthy for you. It's your creating isn't for other people. Doing what you want, doing what makes you happy isn't for other people. And it makes me sad that people feel like they have to be good at anything to use it as an outlet for themselves and their feelings. Because you know, Art and this life are full of people just trying to, you know, get to a place where they can make a difference in their own lives and in the world. And how are you gonna make that difference if you're not if you're not willing to even start expressing yourself? <laughs>